So somebody asked me how did I potty train my daughters. I potty trained my first, no, my second daughter and my first daughter. My first daughter, she just knew what it was. The minute she got the potty, she just knew it, did her thing. But the best way to potty train is this. And before I even get into it, if your kids got a sense to know they should ask for food, they should know to tell you that they need to use the bathroom or so. So, in order for you to potty train them in the nighttime, you give no liquids two hours before bedtime. Also, you gotta get them up in the night to get them in a routine of using the bathroom because I know them pull-ups and them pampers, them shits cost a lot. Another thing, during the daytime, put them in boxes, briefs or panties or whatever you wanna put them in, and anytime they disappear, you know what they're about to go do because most of the time they gotta find somewhere quiet in order for them to go take a little number two or they got a pee pee or poo poo. So just if you're home with them all day and you're watching them, just keep them within vision and reach. And the minute you see them about to disappear, you say, you need to use the bathroom, you need to poo poo, you need to pee pee, tell me. Boom, you get the, you put the, um, the potty seat on the toilet so they could do their thing. But you have to get them in routine. And as I mentioned before, two hours before they go to bed, no liquid. Get up in the night and tell them to use and have them use the bathroom but you gotta stay on them it's like you're trying to reverse the clock with the night and day stuff it's the same you gotta get, get them in the routine of using the bathroom for pee pee or poo poo also when you're about to leave the crib and they wear pull-ups and stuff like that give no liquids before they leave the house two hours before they leave the house don't give any liquid and let them use the bathroom before they leave the house because one of the worst things is when my daughter used to tell me they, they gotta use the bathroom. That used to just make my blood pressure go up. So, get them into the habit of telling you and supervise them and watch them and micromanage it. Before they go to bed, no liquids. Get them up in the night and before they leave the house, if you're about to go outside or something like that, make them use the bathroom, no liquids. And eventually you'll, you'll wean them off it, but you gotta keep it into practice keep it into practice keep it into practice the more you keep it into practice the more they get um used to the routine and then boom before you know two three months two weeks or whatever as long as it takes they stop using pull-ups and um what you call it because they get into the routine all right because i don't see why kids should be like a certain age six seven eight or probably um well not six seven eight but like like five six and they still using pull-ups and pampers and shit like yo that means you're not doing something right. If they got sense to ask you for food, they should be able to have sense to tell you that. Yo, mommy, daddy, I need to poo poo or pee pee. They, a disclaimer, show them to put the seat on so they could do whatever transaction they need to do with the bathroom. Like when they're about to go to the bathroom, I mean, sometimes we use the bathroom ourselves. If the seat is on or off, show them to put it on, then do their thing. You know what I'm saying? Because if you show them to do that, then it's like a routine. It's a repetition, a repetition. If you repetition, you perfect it. So when you're about to go to the bathroom, say, yo, you need to use the bathroom, put this on, then do your thing. Then show them the pull-up routine, the pull-down routine. Show them how to put the pampers on properly. It's just, all this stuff is just common sense. If you show them, I guarantee, you make them stop using those pampers within two to three months max. So remember that, repetition.